Another vacant home in one community burned to the ground Monday afternoon. The East Rockingham Fire Department was called around 2.30 p.m. to a fire on Central Avenue behind Place of Grace Campus, according to Chief Bill Bayless. He said the fire was fully involved by the time crews arrived and it burned to the foundation. Bayless added that the county had been trying to contact the property owner to clean it up. This is at least the fourth vacant home in East Rockingham crews have responded to within the past two months. On May 24th, a mobile home on 6th Street, Safi was a total loss while a small fire was started in the basement of a house on School Street. ERFD responded again to the latter location on June 7th. Another abandoned home on Mill Road finally burned July 11th after the department responded for a third time. A small hole was burned in the floor on May 29th and a mattress that had been brought into the house was burned June 27th. The Rocket and Fire Department also led the fight against a blaze at the office of the former Sarah Lee plant on Mill Road last Friday. In its effort to provide all with access to safe and effective COVID-19 vaccines, the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services is partnering with Piedmont Triad Regional Council Area Agency on Aging to provide free COVID-19 vaccinations to people with limited mobility who cannot leave their home. The at-home vaccination hotline allows caregivers, providers, and individuals across North Carolina to schedule an at-home vaccination. An online registration form is also available. The General Assembly may allocate hundreds of millions in federal relief toward closing the digital divide this session, but policy experts say lawmakers still need to reduce regulations to further help the expansion of broadband infrastructure. The budget passed by the Senate would allocate $330 million for growing rural economies with access to technology grants, or GREAT. It includes other money for broadband, including $15 million for broadband access at rural community colleges. The House hasn't acted on a budget plan, but has already shown a strong inclination toward using a healthy portion of the American Rescue Plan Act federal taxpayer money for broadband. It unanimously passed House Bill 947, the Great Broadband Expansion Act, which would use $400 million to create the Completing Access to Broadband program. It will also allocate $350 million in that federal relief toward the great program. Lawmakers hope to connect all 100 counties with broadband through these programs. The Senate didn't act on that bill, but instead put federal relief money in the budget. Governor Roy Cooper wanted to use $1.2 million of the $5.7 million in funding from the American Rescue Plan for high-speed internet access, but legislators haven't shown a willingness to spend that much on broadband. Studies have estimated 1.1 million North Carolina households lack broadband access. When we return, we've got your Live at 5 weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. 
At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. She gets her soccer skills from her mom, her sense of humor from her dad, and her drugs from her home medicine cabinet. Over half of misused medication comes from family and friends. Talk to your children about the dangers of prescription drug misuse. Secure your medication, take regular inventory to ensure nothing is missing, and properly dispose of expired or unused medication. Be aware, don't share, lock your meds. Your Live at Five Weather Report is brought to you by Sunset Slush, Classic Dine Ice, located here in downtown Rockingham. And happy Tuesday, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. It's been a little bit of a uh, cloudy day, a little bit dreary outside. Uh, nothing uh, with precipitation involved, but overall, been of a gloomy day here in Richmond County as we've seen temperatures getting up into the high 70s, low 80s throughout the day. As we look at tonight, we'll be seeing cloudy skies continuing to cover Richmond County and the surrounding Sand Hills region. 6 o'clock at 77 degrees, 10 o'clock 72 with a sunset at 8.30 p.m. and a waxing gibbous moon phase out tonight as well. Now looking at the Sand Hills weather map for tomorrow, we will be seeing half of the Sand Hills with some rain. Other, the other half will be seeing some sunshine. Uh, it's about 3% to 4% chance for those areas that will be being affected by uh, those threats of thunderstorms. Uh, and most of that will be to the southeastern side of the Sand Hills region. Uh, but Cumberland County, a high of 86, a low of 71. Robeson County, a high of 85, a low of 72. With Scotland County seeing a high of 86 and a low of 70. Up in uh, Hope County, a high of 86, the low of 71. Moore County, a high of 87 and the low of 69. Here in Richmond County, a high of 87 and the low of 69 as well. Down in Marlborough County, a high of 85 and the low of 71. And Anson County will be seeing a high of 87 and a low of 69. Now looking at the seven day forecast again, Wednesday, party glass skies here for Richmond County, a high of 87, low of 69. Thursday is looking bright and sunny with a high of 90 and a low of 70. And then as we get into Friday and onwards, we're seeing at least a 30% chance throughout the area. Uh, Friday, high of 90, low of 70, with that 30% chance there. That carries over into Saturday and Sunday, with Saturday seeing a high of 88 and a low of 72, and then Sunday a high of 89, a low of 71. We're getting back into the 90s again on Monday and Tuesday. Both days will be seeing a high of 90, with a 4% chance of showers. Uh, no chance in the evening on Monday, however. That will be again a high of 90 and a low of 72, and then a high of 90, low of 71 on Tuesday, with 4% chance throughout the entire day. So, uh, the chances for rain have gone down significantly since what we saw yesterday on yesterday's forecast and uh, well we're looking even better for Wednesday and Thursday we did have a 30 to 4 percent chance uh, marked out for that on yesterday's forecast and today we're looking to be seeing it uh, looking a lot better moving forward on uh, the weekend still looking to have that threat of rain so be mindful of that but still such a low chance probably won't be seeing a whole lot of that popping up but that's going to do it for your life by weather report and for tonight's edition of live at five for the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or you can download the free R app for your mobile devices. For the Live 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.